so exploring a crown land spot not far off the road just half hour outside of Clarny. several camping spots here by the river obviously evidence of use but heavy enough use actually but you would always find a spot if you came here I think it's not that popular we ran into one other person worked out well worked out well enough for us I guess we needed a place to stop for the night and now we'll get into Clarny Provincial Park and start our trip this morning for the next three days Basically, just follow the narrows till you see a portage, but it's still a ways up there. A little bit of scratches on the top of it. You can use it hit that before. Whoa, look at that spider. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, what's it hanging on to? How's it up there? Where? Straight know. above your head. What the? It must be coming off the tree like a long line. Yeah, the, the, the wind is blowing it. The wind is blowing it. Oh, look how big it is. Look at that. Spider. Roll it down in your leg. Uh, I'll come back again. Just kind of keep working your way to the left. You fall on the left shoreline the whole way. It goes through like a whole little narrows and everything before it opens up again, and then it's narrow river. Yeah. Yeah. Campsite, Balsam Lake, first one to come to on the left. Looks respectable. Hey, there could be some jumper rocks over there, Zach. A rope, a white rope wrapped around the tree. And because people swing out and jump there off that. So yeah, that's fun. I mean, it's such a decent enough spot there. Could be a site there. And maybe here. Yeah, nice open site. There's all sorts of birds. Herons, ducks. I think we can go right through there. Okay. So here we go, portage into David Lake. Small little sign in the tree there. You gotta come right in to see it. Yeah. 
And uh, this is our longest run for the day, 600 plus meters into David Lake. Right, eventually that's where we're going on hills up in there. There's a couple of cabins on this lake. It's like the grandfathered in. They've been here for since before they made this a park. So the people are allowed to keep it in their family, but they I don't think that ever no one knew could ever build on this lake. It has to be the original owners. So there's only, I don't even know how many cabins there might be four, not too many. But I guess one guy flies in. Why do we have one of their paddles in our canoe? Because they dropped it and yeah. they just left it. Yeah. In the water? Yeah. Well, no. Like, um, Where was I? I just dropped it and then Dave missed it, so then I dropped it. And then Elizabeth was like telling Dave to come closer to then give it back to us. But then you guys were talking and he just left without it. Yeah. Huh. So, from the last four times, I mean? Yeah. Shallow here, eh? Keep your eye out for rocks. I would rather not somewhere here. Right ahead, Zach, eh? Hey? One o'clock show? Yeah. One o'clock rock? Yeah. Oh, that's a boat. That's a punching boat. That's a plane. A plane? Yeah, from that cottage. Oh my oh. god. Here, paddle, Zach. He's gonna go right over top of us. Hope he can keep it, keep it in the air. Yeah. I'm not sure I filmed that right, but yeah. that's pretty cool. It's like Isn't it funny that both planes took off? They're both right across. I think you were right on top of us, eh? <laughs> you gotta go way up there, eh? Exactly a long walk. Face is up the hill. A little bit close to the camp area.
Yeah, you know, lower it down. I'll pull the yellow down. Oh, uh, how it's clear. Yeah. All right, there we go. Orange is up. Oh, man. <laughs> Is it working? It's heavy. Yeah, I guess let's go with that if you can do it. Morning of day two. Noticed we cooler outside. Wind is blowing a little bit. Nice to see we have some sun coming up. We are expecting a bit of rain and a change in the weather for the rest of the trip now. So if we're gonna hike up to the top of that over there, it's gonna have to be today and it might have to be soon. Get breakfast going, get everyone organized and uh, See if we can get there. Yeah, everyone needs a good windscreen. Did you make that hollandaise sauce, Dave? Yeah. So Silver Peak would probably be the highest elevation we see over there. And we have to paddle across, and somewhere just to the right of that is a portage trail. See how we did get that camera? This is just the portage trail. <laughs> <laughs> Got a ways to go yet. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go left. Are we at the fork in the roads? Two paths diverge in the woods. It's uh, officially now the Silver Peak Trail, not the uh, Let Bus Trail. Yeah, my shoes got a little bit too close to the fire and melted a little bit. Well, got lucky this melted on the front, but the inside's all good.
might advise uh, walking on the treadmill before you come here. <laughs> it's a workout, Em. It's like a mountain range. That rock, this is a waterfall in the spring. You will pile up rocks to mark the trail. Because no trees to put the markers on. So you usually follow the rock pile. Yay, 
we're back and there's actually two canoes for us. How many pounds of carrots? Two pounds of carrots. Two pounds. And a head of celery almost. Almost. What's the white what's the white in the bottom now? Uh, pearl bar. Pearl bar. Yeah. yeah. You know, some people would look at that in concern. <laughs> Not gonna lie, there's an outside chance. Ow, this is a bad idea. One, because no shoes on. Two, because it's cold outside. Some of these we hiked is up in there. You can't even see it, it's all in the clouds.
Zach eating. Show me Zach. Well, here we are. End of the night. Our last night. And it's slowly starting to rain. morning of our last day going home today see if the weather holds off you can't even see the elevation behind those hills the whole mountain range is in the clouds So we have our answer about the weather. This is the third or fourth time that we've walked up this hill out back. <laughs> yep, a bit of rain, thunderstorms. Our last day could be worse. If we can get up top, we can get a cell signal and see what's going on with the weather today. <laughs> Maybe it's this way. So how's the weather look? I see some light in the sky over there. Away. We got 200 meters of David Creek. Yep. 210 to David Creek, through David Creek to uh, 700 foot five. And then, uh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. I, I don't, don't ask me what she's And then back to Bellet. Good sack. I 
I don't really know, but it won't be the same uphill as the other one the other day. That's for sure. It is Killarney though, so it's usually uphill both ways, and the wind is in the face. Thanks, Nick. We are home stretch, about 40 minutes to get done. Over here there's a campsite. <laughs> 